What is a mindset? What does that actually mean? When somebody says mindset, what does it actually mean to develop a mindset? See, I think a mindset is where your mind is currently set, right? Instead of thinking about like a mindset for success, you need to think about like, where is my mind set right now? Like, what am I set on? What am I believing about my possibilities? What do I believe to be true? What do I think I'm capable of? What do I think I'm worthy of? Where is my mind currently set? See, online fitness coaches, if you over, if you don't understand the importance of having a mind set for success, you're going to constantly fail at accomplishing your goals. In your coaching business, it'll look like this. You'll keep working harder and harder and harder, but you'll end up spinning your wheels because internally you don't think or you don't think that you're capable or worthy or deserving of your success. And so as you start to achieve it, your mindset, if your mind is set on not feeling worthy, then as soon as you start to achieve success, it'll feel weird and uncomfortable and you'll sabotage. As you get closer to your online business goals, you'll make some progress and you'll start to sign some clients and feel momentum and feel like you're finally winning. But if your mind is set on failure and it's hard to grow your coaching business and it's like always a struggle and you financially struggle, if you start to achieve success, but your mind is set on failure, you're going to self-sabotage so that you can end up back in the same place. You'll always set limits on what's possible for you in your life because if you've never imagined yourself making $10,000 a month, being able to travel the world, being able to explore with your friends and family, you'll always hold yourself back as you get close because you haven't set your mind on that mission yet. Basically, I'm going to say this in like the, the easiest possible format. Unless you develop a success mindset, which means setting your mind on success, you will never make lasting changes in your business and your life. You'll always end up back in the same place. Guys, human beings ha have this incredible ability to, and we have this incredible instinct that allows us to act in line with what we believe to be true. And so we'll want, we want to act consistent with our beliefs. So if we believe that it's super hard to grow an online coaching business, if we believe that there's no leads on social media. If we believe that nobody's purchasing online fitness coaching programs right now, we will want to act in alignment with that beliefs because we always want to act in alignment with what we believe to be true. Does this make sense? Just because we believe it to be true doesn't mean it's an actual fact though. Like doesn't mean that it's actually reality. However, we have this innate ability, instinct slash it, it just, it's human nature to act consistent with what we believe in. And so if we believe it's hard to grow a coaching business, then we will act in alignment with that belief because we want to remain consistent with what we believe to be true. This same concept applies to your guys' fat loss clients. Like if you have a weight loss client that's been overweight like for most of their life and then they want to lose 50 to, 50 to 100 pounds, if they believe that they're big boned and they believe that they have bad genetics and they believe that like no fat loss programs work for them, then they'll want to act in alignment with that belief. And so if they start to lose weight or drop pounds and, and see those inches move off the scale, all of a sudden you'll notice these clients will start to sabotage because they want to act in alignment with what they believe to be true. Does this make sense? Today, we're going to be talking about developing a success mindset, which means setting your mind on success. And when you start to set your mind on success, you're going to start to, your business will start to grow month after month after month after month, and you will start to improve as a person. Every single day in your coaching business, it'll feel like you're gaining momentum and moving faster. Posting on social media will be fun. Reaching out to leads will be fun and exciting for you. And you're going to achieve every single financial goal that you have, not just in your business, but you'll also achieve your fitness goals and you'll also get better in your relationships as well. All right. So let's have a brief conversation about who you are right now. All right. Who you are right now in this moment. Let's go back to when you were born. So if you're a baby and you're born in China, you'll be raised with Chinese beliefs, cultural norms, and you'll learn to speak Chinese right? That's where you learn. You learn from the people that are raising you. If you're a baby, but you're born in Canada, you'll be raised with Canadian beliefs, cultural norms, and you'll learn how to speak English because that's, that's where we learn from. We learn as we're growing up. We inherit our genetics and also our beliefs from our environment, right? And so within like Canada and China, there's also subcultures and there's also sub environments. So basically from our family and our friends, right? So within our environment, we have like classes and subcultures. As an example, 
In Canada, you could be raised by a family who came from Lebanon, and so you'll inherit a set of beliefs and values that came from Lebanese culture. As an example, in Canada, you could be raised from, from a family who spent four generations in Canada with white skin, and you'll inherit a certain set of beliefs and values that came from that family. So let's talk about a mindset. Why, and why is this even important, right? Because you say you want to be successful, but you've got all of these beliefs that are influencing you to do different things that might be pulling you away from your success. And so even if you have the financial goal of wanting to make $10,000 a month, if on some level you don't believe it to be possible because of the way that you were raised and you don't address those beliefs, then you'll start, you'll self-sabotage at every single turn. So the people that raise us pass on their genetics and their belief systems to us. Most of us can confidently say that we learn from the people who learn from people when we were younger, right? Some of us might have had entrepreneurial style parents and we learned how to be an entrepreneur. And some of us, so we learned what to do. And some of us learned what not to do from our parents because our parents might have worked at nine to five and we saw how unhappy we were. And they were, and we're like, I don't want that for myself. But either way, we learned from our parents. We learned our beliefs from our parents. Okay, I'm gonna go a layer deeper. We're gonna get deep on this podcast, you guys. So we're going to be talking about beliefs now. Now, what is a belief? What is a belief? A belief is a set of habitual thought patterns that are true for us. A belief is a set of habitual thought patterns that are true for us. Now, habitual means we think it over and over and over again. When you think a thought, over and over and over and over again, it becomes automatic. It becomes something that you do without even trying. And eventually it becomes true for you. That's a belief. Now the habitual thought patterns that you might have right now are results that you might've inherited to up to this point in your life. So some habitual thought patterns that a lot of online fitness coaches have are things like this. It's really hard for me to grow my coaching business. I have to be using advertisements in order to grow my coaching business. Um, nobody's going to be buying right now because of COVID. The safer route is to go a nine to five. Online training is super risky. Business mentors are scam artists. Now, these are habitual thought patterns that you might have inherited from different people in your life, or you might somebody might have said it to you over and over again, or you might have thought it so much that it eventually becomes true for you. Now, all of these beliefs and values are usually passed on to us from friends or family or from generation to generation, but a belief is simply a thought that you keep thinking that becomes true for you. Does this make sense? A belief is a thought you keep thinking that you that is true for you. So a belief is a thought we keep thinking. If we want to change our beliefs and we want to change our mindset and we want to set our mind on success so we can make $10,000 a month, why don't we just start thinking different thoughts? Now we're going to get into that, into that in a minute, but I want to talk about how this impacts your ability to succeed. Online fitness coaches, understand this. A belief is a thought you keep thinking that you that is true for you, right? A belief is a thought you think over and over again. A belief is just a thought. And so your beliefs, your thoughts about what's possible for your life are already inside of you and they're impacting every single thing that you do. Here's an example. If you believe, let's talk about your fitness clients for a second, all right? If your fitness clients believe that they're big boned and it's super hard for them to lose weight, if your fitness clients believe that they're too busy to focus on their own fitness journey, if your fitness clients believe that it's selfish to work on themselves and their own goals because of all of these ideas that have been passed on to them from their environment, their friends, their family, whatever, then they're never going to achieve any success in their weight loss journey because even though your fitness client might want to actually lose 50 pounds, they hold true to themselves. They believe that they're big bone and it's hard for them to lose weight. And human beings have this incredible ability to act in alignment with what we believe to be true. And so if we think that we're big bone and it's hard to lose weight, we want to act in alignment with that belief. So if we start to lose weight and we start to look and feel amazing and all of a sudden weight loss becomes easy, oop, that's inconsistent with what's going on in our mind. So we'll sabotage to get back to what we're used to and back to what we believe to be true. Does this make sense? Does this make sense? Most people try to change phys the physical without, without addressing the mental, right? So most people in their coaching business, 
as an example. They want to sign more clients. They want to make more money. They want to you know, travel the world. They want to change their physical circumstances without changing their mindset. But the truth is, it's the mindset that creates the, phys- the, the circumstances. So if you're trying to like make more money and change more lives and you sign 10 to 15, 20 clients and you start making two, three, four thousand dollars a month, but on an internal level, you don't feel like you deserve to succeed and you don't feel like you're worthy and you feel like an imposter and you have a mindset of somebody that's an employee, then even though you might start to achieve success in your online business, you will self-sabotage to get yourself back down to where it's comfortable and safe and where you believe you should be. So most people try to change the physical without changing the mental, without understanding that it's the mental that creates the physical. If you want to solve the problem, you have to go to the cause and not deal with the effects. Are you guys still following me? You will stay stuck in the exact same place if you keep thinking the same thoughts over and over and over again. Most people try to change their life by changing the physical. It's the same thing for your weight loss clients. They'll come in and they'll say, I want to lose 30 pounds, but they've got a self image that tells them that they're overweight, that they're fat, that nobody likes them. And every single time they look at themselves in the mirror, they're constantly criticizing themselves and tearing themselves apart and saying they're not good enough. So as they start to achieve success in their fitness journey, they will self-sabotage unless they start addressing their beliefs, unless they start addressing their thought patterns. You can't lose 50 pounds just by focusing on your nutrition and your exercise because you're going to have to address the mental blocks that are holding you back and the mental blocks that got you to that place in the first place. If you try to change the physical without changing the mental, it's only a matter of time before you end up in the same place. If you try to get to $10,000 a month without getting yourself mentally to a place where you're able, capable of handling it, it's only a matter of time before you'll end up being broke again. There was a podcast I recorded. It was like a, it was a few uh, weeks ago where I said, you, have, you must be before you can have. You have to actually act like a trainer that makes $10,000 a month before you make the 10K a month. You don't get to 10K and then act like the trainer that makes 10K. You act like the trainer that makes 10K and then you get to $10,000 a month. You have to be before you can have. Thoughts become things. You become what you think. Does this make sense to you, online fitness coach? If you keep limiting, if you keep thinking thoughts that are limiting your potential, those thoughts will become beliefs and they'll become true for you. And those beliefs will dictate your actions. We will always act in alignment with what we believe to be true for us. That's human nature, which means you could literally join the best coaching program on the market and you would fail because you keep thinking thoughts that are limiting your potential. Who here has had a client in their fat loss program that's completely self-sabotaged their goals? They like, like started to crush it. They started to achieve amazing results. They were looking and feeling confident. Then all of a sudden, boom, they self sabotage Who here has a client that's done that? It's a mindset. Their mindset isn't set on their ideal life. Their mindset isn't set on the type of person they want to be. They're thinking about what they used to be and their mind is set on the way that it used to be. And so as they start to achieve success in their fitness journey, Boom, they end up back in the same place because they tried to change the mental or they tried to change the physical without addressing the mental. And the mental is the root cause of all of it. Does this make sense? Are you guys following along? Are you guys clear? And so a belief is a thought you keep thinking over and over and over again. And if you keep thinking the same thoughts over and over and over again, what ends up happening is it becomes a habitual thought pattern that's true for you, which means you'll start to think it without even trying And a thought over time, a thought that you keep thinking will become a belief and it will become true for you. So the best way to solve this problem and work on a success mindset is to develop better beliefs and focus on thoughts you wish to have. The best way to develop your mindset is to think new thoughts because a thought that you think over and over and over again will become a belief. So the key to changing your beliefs is to change your thoughts. Guys, you remember where at the top of the podcast where I talked about you, how you inherit your beliefs from your environment and your, like your family, your friends, your coworkers, your mom, your dad. Remember how I talked about you usually inherit your beliefs from your environment, like from your family, they raise you, et cetera. Guys, as an adult, you don't have to be influenced by anybody. As an adult, you get to decide who you're influenced by. So if you're aware that the thoughts that you're thinking right now are a result of all of the influences that you've had in your life, 
and they've caused you to think and act in a certain way, then you can come into this moment and understand that the thoughts that you're going to think moving forward are going to be a result of the influences you choose to have moving forward. And yo, any single person that's listening to this podcast right now is choosing to expand their mind and open up their awareness. And that tells me that you're in a place where you value growth. If you're listening to this, you value fucking growth. And so for me, You guys see me as somebody that you aspire to be like, but I promise you that I'm constantly being influenced by outside voices because I understand that I inherit my thoughts and my beliefs about what's possible about the world, et cetera, from outside influences. And so I'm going to choose to listen to people that inspire the shit out of me every single day so that I can make sure that my thoughts are always on a higher frequency instead of stooping back down to something low and thinking that it's not possible and that I'm not capable or getting back to a place where I'm settling. Like, yo, full transparency, guys. I came from a background where like most of my family is lower income. I was born and raised in a trailer park. And so my predominant mental attitude, unless I work on my mindset every single day, is somebody that came from a lack of success. So it's really easy for me to slack off. It's really easy for me to get complacent. It's really easy for me to say like, oh man, this is a lot of success for me. I don't know if I can handle that because that's where I was raised. And so in order for me to have a high level of performance, a high level of success, I have to see people that I aspire to be like, and I need to absorb the shit out of everything that they say so that I can start to change my thoughts to think like they think. Because if I can think like they think, I'll behave like they behave. And if I behave like they behave, I will get the same results as they do. Does this make sense? I look at people I aspire to be like, and I listen to them over and over and over again. Because if I can constantly listen over and over and over again to people who are thinking like I want to think, then I'll start to change my thought patterns. And if I can change the way that I think today, and I can change the way that I think tomorrow, and I can do that over and over and over again, eventually these thought patterns will become successful thought thought patterns. And successful thought patterns will lead to successful beliefs and successful beliefs will lead to successful actions and successful actions will lead to successful results. See, all of this starts with how you think, what you're thinking right now. Does this make sense? What you're thinking right now dictates the quality of your life forever. Now let's talk about a mindset. What is a mindset? Mind, mindset isn't one word, it's two. Mindset it means setting your mind on something, setting your mind on a mission. Everyone always talks about how six, the mindset is the key to success. But in reality, what people should be saying is you need to set your mind for success. I've done a podcast on this before. You need to set your mind on success. You need to decide literally. I am going to be fucking successful. I'm setting my mind on success. And when you make that decision, you need to constantly set and reset and reset your mind because you're going to fall off track. Setting your mind on success is like learning how to ride a bike for the first time. You don't just get the balance once and then you're like riding the bike. Like, oh, cool. I can ride the bike now. No, it's like you learn how to balance for the first time when you're on a bicycle and then you fall flat on your face. And then you get back on the bike and you start riding it and then you fall flat on your face again. You get up and you fall and you get up and you fall and you get, and eventually it becomes easier to ride the bike. That's like setting your mind for success. So you guys listen to this podcast might be like, yo, B Mark, I'm so inspired. I'm ready to fucking grow. Let's get it. And you might set your mind to success. And then three days from now, you're going to fall flat on your face. Something's going to happen. And then you feel like overwhelmed, demotivated, then you need to get your ass back up and you need to reset your mind on success. That is a mindset. It is setting my mind on success and understanding that I'm going to fail, but I'm going to keep getting back up. I'm going to keep moving forward because I'm determined to make, to make this work. That's a mindset. That's a mindset over and over and over again. Cause guess what? There's a lot of these things and things in, wor- in this world that are trying to steal your thoughts and pull your intention in different directions and trying to distract you from what your potential could be. You, you know, you scroll on social media and you see all these advertisements in your face. You're, there's Netflix you can tune into. You can watch YouTube videos. You drive by a newspaper stand. You see all these different headlines. Everything wants to steal your attention. So you need to set your mind on a mission and you need to remain laser focused and let nothing get in your way. And that's how shit happens. 
All these things that can pull your attention in different directions, advertisements, people trying to sell you shit, television, social media, friends, family, whatever. All these things have an influence on your dominant thought pattern, the things that you're thinking. And the things that you're thinking over and over again become beliefs. And human beings have this ability to act in alignment with what they believe to be true. And so you better start auditing what you believe and what you're absorbing and what you're listening into and what you're tuning into. Anything that you think over and over again will become a belief and any belief that you have to be true, you'll act in alignment with that belief. And your belief will dictate your actions and your actions will dictate your results. And so if you want to be, if you want to be successful in your online business and you want to get to 10,000, 20,000, $30,000 a month, you need to set your mind on that mission. I am going to make $10,000 a month, period. And here's how you do it. Number one, decide what you want. Decide what your mission is. Set your mind on a mission. Number two, Find somebody who's doing what you want and absorb every single piece of content that person put, puts out so that you can think like they think, you can act like they act, act, and that you can behave like they behave. Number three, you have to understand that you're going to fall. And so it's setting and resetting your mind and success. It's not just setting it once. It's setting it and then falling and getting up and resetting it. Just like riding a bike for the first time. You fall, you get up, you rebounce. You fall, you bounce, you, re, you, you get back up. And number four, guys, check in with your thought patterns. What are you thinking today? What are you feeling today? How are you going to set your mind for success today? Decide what you want. Find somebody who's doing what you're doing, what you want to do, and absorb every single piece of, piece of content they put out. Constantly set and reset your mind on success and check in with your thought patterns. Guys, it's not about having the right mindset for success. It's about setting your mind for success deciding that you are going to win. Guys, find somebody who is winning and absorb every single person that the person is, thing that person is saying and choose to be influenced by somebody who's doing what you want to do. Don't listen to your friends or your family or coworkers. If they're not a successful entrepreneur and they're giving you life advice, listen to them and be like, thank you so much for your advice and move the fuck on. Unless you want to end up like, the, like they are. Like find somebody who's living a life like you want to live and then absorb that person's content, absorb their mes message, think like they think so you can get the same results that they have. Does this make sense? Let's fucking go. Guys, that's it. That's all. That brings us to the end of the Change Lives Make Money on the Trainer podcast. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. I hope you got some value. I hope there's one of you guys that listens to this and makes the decision that you're going to set your mind on success. You don't need to have the right mindset for success. You need to set your mind on success, which means deciding what you want, finding somebody who's doing what you want to do and absorbing every single piece of content that they put out, setting and resetting your mind for success. Every time you fall off track, you get back up, you keep moving forward and checking in with your thought patterns. What are you thinking on a regular basis and what are your current mental thoughts so you can start to change them and head in a different direction?